In this problem, we're being asked to simplify this expression. So let's go ahead and do it. So it looks like things might factor. So let's focus on the numerator. So let's try to factor it like this, x, x. So we need two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to negative 5. Well, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, but if you add them, you get 5. So let's try to use negative 2 and negative 3. And that works because negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. And when you add negative 3 and negative 2, you get negative 5. So that looks okay. Let's try to do the same thing in the denominator. So we need two numbers that multiply to this last number here. So multiply to negative 3 and add to negative 2. So 3 and 1. And they have to add to a negative number. So it will be negative 3 and positive 1. And you can see that uh, negative 3 plus 1 is uh, negative 2. And uh, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So everything looks uh, OK. And uh, we're allowed to simplify this. We can cancel the x minus 3s, right, provided x is not equal to 3. I mean, that's, this whole thing does not make sense if x is 3 because you would get, you know, 0 over 0, which doesn't make sense. So in all of this, x cannot be equal to 3. And so now this is equal to uh, x minus 2 over x plus 1. And that would be the final result. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.